I am Anil Kumar and with the help of this video we will try to see how to find integral of a given function using substitution. So I will walk you through the steps or the thinking which goes behind in substitution. So when you have a function like given to us we have integral of square root of 1 plus x square x to the power of 5 dx. Now this is not an easy function to work with but let's see how to really answer such a question if you get in a test. Now first thing you see is that square root of something. So we could treat that something as a function to be substituted. So, so we can say that u equals to 1 plus x square to begin with. Now as soon as you do that, you have to replace dx with du, right? Because the function is this. So we say du is equals to 2x. Now in this, if I replace the radical part, which is square root part with u, that's okay. But how do I take care of x to the power of 5? Well, what I could do is from here, I could write x square as this will mean that x square is equals to u minus 1. Okay. So, I can actually write x square as u minus 1, which will take care of x4 and x dx. I should have written dx here. So, du 2x dx is the derivative. So, x dx will be taken care by that part. So, I hope we have got all the pieces together, right? So, now we'll rewrite this integral function. So, what we have here is integral of 1 plus x square and instead of x to the power of 5 let me write this as x to the power of 4 x dx right as soon as I write like this things become clear to us right so we could now say that x dx is equal to half of du right so, so now we can replace and substitute with the variable u. So we now have integral of u square root x to the power of 4 means uh, x square squares that means u minus 1 whole square right and x dx by half du you get it right. So that is how we could write this and that's how you should think about substituting a function which is absolutely new for you. Now we can, this is a constant, applying the properties of integrals, we can always take it outside. Now here, we do not have any product rule, so we need to actually multiply, apply the distributive property, and then we can easily find integral of this. So let's write u to the power of half times, and expand this, we get u squared minus 2u, plus 1 du, right? So that's what we have. And if I expand it, I get half integral of, so u to the power of half plus 2, that means 4 by 2, minus 2 times u to the power of half plus 1, that is 3 by 2, plus u to the power of half, right? du. Now, integral of this is half, and let's put the bracket here, u to the power of add 1, so 7 by 2 over 7 by 2, minus 2 times u to the power of add 1 to the exponent, 5 by 2 over 5 by 2, plus add 1, 3 by 2, right, 3 by 2 over 3 by 2, right, and then add a constant. So that is how you could actually get the answer. You could simplify this and then write u in terms of 1 plus x squared. Correct? So let me simplify it here. So what we have here is when you multiply by half, all these twos in the denominator will cancel off. And so let me rewrite this as u to the power of 7 by 2 over 7 minus, here we'll get 2 over 5 u to the power of 5 by 2 and in this case we'll get 1 over 3 
u to the power of 3 by 2, correct? Plus c. Now, this could be written as u is 1 plus x squared. So, we'll write 1 plus x squared to the power of 7 by 2. So, either way you could write. You could write in this form also. Uh, to the power of 7 and then square root. You could do that. Over 7 minus 2 over 5 u is 1 plus x square to the power of 5 square root plus 1 third u is 1 plus x square q square root plus c right so that becomes our answer for the given integral i hope the steps are clear to you so the idea is begin with the complicated part of the function substitute a variable find its derivative and see how things can fit in and then move on i hope this strategy helps to find integral of functions with substitution i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe to my videos thanks for watching